there. Today we will create a VBA code to sort items in ascending order. To do this, we will use the bubble sort. The bubble sort is probably the most famous sorting algorithm. There are a lot of mutations from it, but this one is good to start as the first algorithm that you learn. So let's start. So what we will do? We will basically to compare the first item with the second item. And if the first item is larger than the second item, we will swap them. And then we will compare the second item with the second item. And if the first item will greater, we will swap it. And so on, we will compare the second set and if the first number of this set is larger we will swap them then we'll compare the last set and we'll swap them and then we will receive the last numbers and we see that the five is going to the last one and it is fixed there and then we continue keep going and start with, from the beginning. We compare the first with the second and swap it. Then we compare the second with the set and nothing happened because the second is not greater than the set, right? So we continue and compare this, the next set and this we swap that. And then we compare the last one but we do not need to swap it. And we see that we have one more fixed here. And we continue, keep going. And we have three numbers already put. And then we compare the next set and swap it. And finally, we receive this number of set in ascending order. Let's see how it is working with flowchart and VBA code. Here we have our flowchart and we'll compare it with our VBA code. So here we have our VBA code. I have already written it and we'll see how we can write this code using the flowchart. So the first one we need to count the number of rows. We will set it as a variable and R. It is here. And then we will make the next variable I and we will go through all our cells and we'll compare it with the number of rows here. So we need to deem the i variable as integer. Next, we will count all our cells in the row. And then we will enter into the loop. It is this one. And we will we'll say for all, for every i from two to number of rows, we will use this loop. And then, if it is right, we will enter into the next loop. For this, we need to deem the next variable it is this one as integer and we will calculate all variables till the number of rows and we'll say here till the number and we will say till this variable is less than number of row. We will enter here in this loop 
and then if it is right and the first item is greater than the second we will swap it it is exactly this one how we will swap it if not we will continue to the next set of the numbers and the swap is here we can see it here right let's check how it is working here we have our set of the numbers let me collect it back and we are here exactly in this part of the code we will swap the numbers if the number one is greater than the number two we will swap them how we will do it we know that this number is minus one and eight against the variable and then the second number is the variable and one so we say if the first variable which is this one right is greater than the second one is this one right then we will use some variable named temp what is temp temp is a new variable we have deemed it as double it means that some number we will keep in mind in order to replace the previous one let's see how it is work so if this one is greater than this one we say the temp is equal variable one which is free right which is this one it is free and then we say that the second cell is equal to the first cell We say that the second cell, the address of the second cell is this one, right? Is equal to the value of the cell number one. And it is five, right? So here we have exactly the address. We say this one is equal to this one. So we put it here, five. And what we say then? And we say that the first cell is equal to temp, this number, which we keep in mind, this one. So we say the first cell is equal to temp and we know that the temp is this one right so we can put here three and then and it is all then we keep going and go here again and calculate the same for these two numbers and keep going and keep going let's see how it is working testing the vba code so we will select our set of numbers click inside the vba code and start testing clicking on f8 let me close this immediately 
window and we'll check the local window and continue. Now we can see, and let me collapse here the, the both windows, and we can see that NR number of zeros is calculated already. So it is five, right? Yes, it's five. Let's continue. And we start with the first looping and we say the i, the first variable is equal to two. Let's continue and the first variable is also equal to two, right? And then we say if the first number is greater than the second number, then we do the swapping. This three will go up and five will go down. And three will go to temp. Do you remember the previous screencast, right? And here, right, we have the temp here. And let's see, here is five. And let's see then, it's three. Everything is working. We end this looping and go to the next one. Now we take this two and compare is a five e greater as one. We will set temp the temp variable as what? As one, right? Let's see. Right, it is here, one. And then we will put it here, five, we will put here. Yes, and then one is here. It's right, and we will keep going, keep going. Then five is here, four is here, and then five is here, two is here. And we will enter in the second round. We next variable, we, it is closed, and we're starting again. And we continue. That's all. Now we can test it. It is working or not by clicking only one run, right? Let's see. Yes, it's working. Everything is okay. So please remember, if you don't know how to use flowcharts, you can check my screencast I will post it here in the right corner or in the description below. And that's all. Thank you for watching.